The Wood Shop is sponsored by Robust Lathes, Easy Wood Tools, and Chefware Kit. Welcome back. Well, I got all the pins in the calls, and here's the little jig I used to do that. Just a simple 2x4 with the middle cut out. So you just need a way to keep the call off of the off the bottom of it. And I just used a 5 8 inch dowel. The chuck of my drill press doesn't go down small enough for the little drill bit. So I have to do it with the, just a hand drill. But if your chuck goes down that small, drill press is the way to do it. Just need some way to, to keep it parallel. And keep in mind when you are when you put the pins in, always put in three pins. So I just marked on the bottom here, just kind of even them out to put in three pins. If you put in two and the glue fails, it'll rock back and forth. And I had a question about that too. So when you, when you glue on the rings, I always just wipe, wipe it out, clean out if any oil or anything on there. And I always just take a piece of sandpaper and, and run a 100 grit sandpaper running around in there. But somebody mentioned using the tip of like a party tool or something to really scrape it up. And that would probably probably work better. I've, uh, I've been doing these for seven, eight years and it just, some of them, and they've been around that long and they're still still bonding and then some of them have failed and so and I always do the same thing so I don't know don't know what the deal is but you get these out in the weather or something and they expand and, and contract and pop it loose but they're, they're a lot of fun I had a, a lot of questions about the CA glue so I found out the name of it that's it it's just easy CA and I'll put a link down below to Craig's website on that that stuff right there I I have nothing to do with the marketing this because I would have just called it awesome I mean, it works fantastic. So, I had a bunch of questions. So, this is the first time I've used it, and I somebody asked me about antler. I have no idea how it works on that. I put on one coat. That was it. I didn't try and build it up and get a glossy finish on it. So, just single coat. The only thing I did do was um, on a couple of them. I used the ultra polish or ultra ultra gloss what is it yeah ultra gloss so these two calls right here one of them's done on the buffing wheel and one of them's done on the with the ultra gloss and they're almost identical can't really i don't even know which one which anymore but i don't know it works pretty good so if you, if you don't have a buffing wheel a polish like that would would work good too um and again these are this is called spectra ply and come in just a variety of different colors you can get just about any anything you want this one here is walnut and a little bit of sapwood there and heartwood and then this one that one i did quite a while ago and that's coco bolo and it has a more decorative decorative ring on it i bought these probably five or six years ago and i don't know i can't remember who i bought them from but they were expensive they were i think they were like I don't know, six, seven bucks a piece, but they're just beautiful. He did a lot of little engraving on them and, and it, they came out nice, but I don't know. If, if somebody has a link to where you can get some de more decorative bands like that, maybe leave it in the comments and, and uh, share it with everybody. But they're uh, probably, they're a lot thicker, probably double what the, what the regular bands are. Um, and they're a little bit smaller too in diameter, just a, just a hair, cause I, I tried to, just do one with and then match it up with that and it didn't it was, wasn't big enough yet but i don't know a lot of fun i i think that was about it on the call oh somebody they wanted to hear it i am not a duck caller so this is probably going to be horrible they're double read calls i don't know i'm not a duck caller but i did do one I put up a video on Saturday and I wasn't going to put it up. I was going to show it in, in this video, but I had a lot of fun with it and I, Robert and I thought it turned out great. So we just, just put it up. Used HDPE and it's just plastic. These are Folger coffee container. This is a, a gain laundry detergent. So they're just little bits of plastic as long as it has that symbol on the bottom of it. You can mix it all together and it came out came out look cool it looks like christmas but uh yeah i had a lot of fun with it peter brown and i did a collab a while back and he sent me some of the stuff that he made these are uh, i can't remember what they are they're coffee containers too but i you ban or something and that's what he drinks but yeah it was a lot of fun so when i got done with these i grabbed that piece and i was just gonna make another call out of it and when i drilled it it broke apart i am not sure how he did it when he glued it uh melted it together he might have done it in two pieces and it was just a clean break down it like it was it was done in two separate parts but anyway i've been saving this stuff for 
for months to do some of it and it does take quite a bit so to get that blank I have the the one I showed the picture of it's it took three of the Folgers coffee container the giant gain laundry and then another just a big jug like a protein powder jug so it, it takes quite a bit it, it really uses up but try and keep the stuff um, small the smaller the pieces the better I'll put a link down below to Peter's channel too he's done a bunch of this stuff and he puts it in a blender and mixes it uh, grinds it up and stuff the smaller it is the be the less void you're gonna have when you're done so like this one it still has a couple little voids in it it looks great on that on that side but you turn it over in a couple little spots it doesn't it, they didn't go through, so it doesn't affect the sound. But, I don't know. And I had a bunch of questions about that, too. <laughs> so, there's no finish, no buffing. That's straight off the tool right there. It's uh, got a nice little shine to it. I, I don't know what you could put on it. This stuff really doesn't stick to anything else. In fact, the one Peter sent me... I tried to glue it back together. I used Gorilla Glue. It wouldn't... It just popped right back apart. I... Uh, I don't have any epoxy, maybe that would work to get it back together, but I think I remember Peter saying something about just nothing would stick to it, so I don't, I'm not sure what he was using, but go check out his channel. He has just a ton of videos on the stuff and, and how to do it. So here, here's what you do though, put it in a toaster oven, don't do not do it inside, this stuff stinks. It's I just got this at Goodwill of $7.99, so just a toaster oven, and somebody mentioned too in the comments, $3.50, don't go above $3.50 on it. Um, I put it over by the window. I got a fan blowing out, another fan over there, just crosswind. You keep it out and it still stinks. So I wouldn't wouldn't do it while you're in the shop or maybe do it outside or something, but it's it's nasty stuff. Um, I just put it in the little little tinfoil container. It worked pretty well. Peter um, has a he would put them in a press, so he would pull, would melt it down, pull it out of there, put it in a press, and clamp it together. And I probably, I think I'm going to make one of those next time. So what I did was I filled this whole thing up, and when I pulled it out of there, put my gloves on, and just smashed it into like a just a little burrito. And I took uh, packing tape and taped it all around, and then set it outside and let it dry um, or let it cool down. But it took forever for it to cool down on the all the way through. It was it was hours before it cooled down. So it I don't know, it just gets gets really hot and especially on the inside. So but it was a lot of fun. I, I enjoyed playing around with it and it, it does some cool stuff. So if you want to get into that definitely check out check out Peter's channel on that. Um, I think that was about it. I, uh, I'll play around with the buffing system and the other compounds on some other stuff. I did, I got all the calls done. I put those up on my Etsy store. I, uh, next week we're going to do some more segmenting. I'm, I have a class next Saturday in Eugene at the Woodcraft and we're doing flowers for Valentine's Day. So I thought I would do some flowers for Friday. So that'd be fun. I figured I'd do some segment at once. I'm going to try something different that I haven't done before. So it should be fun. I think that is about it. Um, like, okay. Yeah. I will get a link to Craig's for the website for that and the duck call, all the parts for the duck calls and uh, Peter's channel down below. All right. If this is your first time here, I have a new project video every Friday. I hope to see you there. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Take care.